Hi folks, so this is products and quotients of numbers in polar form. So you can be given two numbers in polar form and asked to multiply them or to divide them. So this, that's what this is about. So um, so this box looks complicated, but it's just the, the general rules. So, uh, so if Z1 is that, so R theta 1, theta 2 and so on, and Z2 is, is R2, theta 2, uh, then when you multiply them together, it's going to be R1 times R2, and then what you do is you, you add the two angles together. So you just multiply the two R's and you add the two angles together. And then for if you're dividing the two, the two of them, then you do the opposite. So you divide the two R's and then you just subtract the two angles. So our first one here, we've got Z1 and Z2. So we're going to multiply Z1 and Z2 first of all. So I'm just following the rule from above. So I'm going to, the two R's in this case, R1 and R2 would be two and five. So it's going to be two multiplied by five outside. And then it's going to be cos of, and then our two angles are pi over four and five pi over 12. So I'm just going to add those two. So that's my cos and then plus I sine and then I'm just adding the two angles again, so they're the same angles. And then, so that's basically it. We're just, sim we're just um, simplifying it a little bit then. So 2 times 5 is 10 outside. And then we're going to get cos. And we're just going to add those two angles together. So... You can use calculator and put your calculator in radian form and just add those two as they are and it'll give you 2 pi over 3 there or you can just use the rules of fractions um, find a common denominator and so on. Uh, so it'll be the same thing here. So 2 pi over 3 and that's it then we're done. So we've got the two uh, complex numbers in polar form added together. Now the second part is where we're dividing them. So we're going to do pretty much the opposite. We're going to divide the, the R1, the two R's, and we're going to subtract the two angles. So uh, so that was part one. So this is part two then. So now it'll be, so we're doing, in this case, we're doing Z2 divided by Z1. So just be careful. So it'll be five divided by two. And then it's going to be cos of and Z2. So the angle for Z2 is five pi over 12 so we're going to subtract pi over 4 because we're subtracting z1 and then we do the same in here so and then same trick so you can just use a uh, calculator to put in the angles, or sorry, to put in the, yeah, the subtraction of the angles in radian, radian form. And we should get pi over six. And that's it then, you could go and put that back into, um, so you could go and work out over six and sign a pi over six and put it into the original form of the complex number but you don't need to so that's it and that's those two numbers divided so here's another one you can try this yourself if you want just pause the video and then play it on so the first part anyway I'm multiplying the two of them so it's going to be four times two and then it's going to be <coughs> so it's cause of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 plus i sine and it's 3 pi over 4 plus uh, sorry uh, so plus pi over 4 again so uh, 4 times 2 is 8 outside and then we've got cos of, and you don't even need calculator for this because it's the same common denominator. So 3 pi plus pi is 4 pi. So it's 4 pi over 4, and that's the same thing as pi. So cos pi plus i sine pi, and that's it. Then we're done. Uh, so that's then multiplied, 
and I'm going to divide them now. So um, they're asking us for Z1 divided by Z2 here. So it's going to be 4 divided by 2 outside and then cos of, and it's going to be 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 plus i sine and it's 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. It's going to get uh, 4 by 2 on the outside is just 2 and then cos um, 3 pi minus pi is 2 pi so we get 2 pi over 4 and that's the same as pi over 2 plus i sine and it's pi over 2 again and again you could use calculator if you really weren't sure there. Uh, so that's it then. Uh, that's those two numbers divided.